a week to Christmas celebration, the expectation of the general public on the police for a peaceful and crime-free celebration is always high. This is the last Inspector General of Police meeting with strategic managers of the force. May be a proactive move to ensure commissioners of police and other commanders are on their toes to police the citizens for a crime-free celebration. The IGP Olukayo de Egbetoku in his address assured Nigerians that the police is ready to ensure a peaceful celebration during and after the Yule Tide. I call on all Nigerians to remain law-abiding and be security conscious during this festive period. We should embrace peaceful coexistence and shun all forms of violence. Youths are enjoined to stay away from drugs, force cars to be moderate in their dealings and accord respect to one another as well as to all security operatives deployed across the country. Citizens and everyone doing business in Nigeria are enjoyed to volunteer information to the police. Such information given will be treated with utmost confidentiality. Meanwhile, on the successes recorded by the police in the last 10 weeks, the IGP says some of the successes include the rescue of eight kidnapped students of the University of Lafayette and the arrest of suspected armed robbers that attacked Utupo Bank some months ago, among several others. The force recorded many breakthroughs in the investigation of some major crimes within the period. You will recall the deadly Otrupo Bank robbery of 28th October 2023, during which the divisional police officer, Otrupo Division, and many other innocent Nigerians lost their lives, and huge sums of money cutted away from the three commercial banks that fell victims to the bank robbery. The unrelenting efforts of our men, acting on both human and technically generated intelligence, paid off. The daredevil arm robbers, were traced to their hideouts where two of them were neutralized while four were arrested and are currently in custody. Nigerians will hope to have a peaceful celebration with this assurance by the police boss. John Taylor, ITV News.